Blazer. What am I doing? Lying on cardboard on one side and uh, Mr. What's your name again? <laughs> Stanley C. Crud with two D's. We are uh, putting plastic up because I'm tired of paying for heating oil in this shop to heat the back half, which should be in cold storage like a meat locker. So I'm going to crawl underneath this blazer. I'm going to show you some good news and some bad news. The good news is I'm alive. And the bad news is my truck is dying a slow, rusty death. Life of a plow truck ain't easy. Check this out. That bolt looks loose because it's shifting around and scraping the fluid film off the frame. So we're going to try wool wax. I just got to get organized. I got things to do and places to go. But just to show you, even if you rust proof and spray everything, you're going to have rust and you've got to wire brush it off or sandblast it or tickle it, but it is going to rust. That might have been a galvanized bracket. But isn't it amazing? I've got this fluid film on thick and rich. I had it sprayed with Crown with a K 10 years ago, and the guy did a good job, but the Crown product is useless. Look at the salt everywhere. It's just everywhere. 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 My back brake locked up, and the backing plate has come loose from the axle flange. So I'm going to tighten that up. I've got some work to do on this truck, and we're getting some snow, a snow event. Look at the rust. Look at this. In the crack. And I put the fluid film on everywhere. So wool wax, fluid film, baby oil, squeeze parquet, it doesn't matter. You've got to stay on top of it. You've got to service your vehicle every summer, wash it thoroughly. Not necessarily with a pressure washer. Look at that rust spot there, rust on the top of the frame edge, exhaust brackets, the hangers. But the reason that I'm underneath this truck today is because I was plowing snow yesterday and I knew my U-joint was going because I could hear it when I accelerated rather aggressively. But then I heard a really big noise and I unlocked my front hubs and the big noise went away. But I knew I had a bad U-joint to the back, so let's look at it. Uh, sandblasted it and painted. I even welded this U-joint cap to the drive shaft. And the welds broke, I think. Wait till you see what's coming around the corner. Uh-huh, there it is. Look at that. Yep. Yep. And these caps are loose. So, that's the scoop with salt. I'm going to try wool wax. It's thicker. It has no odor whatsoever that I can detect. Maybe you'll detect a little bit. But the salt is just incredible. I was watching a fellow on YouTube. I watched the occasional video aside from Nick's Garage. And there's a guy, DIY, do-it-yourself auto tech or auto mechanic. Seems like a pleasant enough guy. He was scraping a forerunner. He doesn't have the same rust problems that we do up here. It was very nice of him to do that job on the Forerunner with the wire brush and the scrapers. This was a rust-free truck when I bought it except for the rockers. But we've got much more serious salt problems here than anybody else. Way up here in the rust belt. Check that out. You can actually see where the cap has spun inside the axle stub. And this is a new axle. I broke it several years ago in the country, plowing on my acreage, playing around. You can actually see it. I don't know if it captured on the camera, but the cap is actually rotating in the yoke. There's a grease joint there, but I need a new axle. Oh, that one. That one. You can actually see it moving in the yoke. Terrible, huh? This is what we deal with up here. Plowing snow, this thing needs a Dana 66 that I have in my big barn. My seal fell off of there, and my drag link is loose. So I'm going to take one of the 
caps off to Mr. Crud with two D's. I'm gonna take one of his rubber seals off because, I don't know, his is busted too. Look at that for rust, what do you think of that? And this drag link is really bad and the shocks are really bad and the brake lines are really bad. We're changing everything. 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 New brake lines, new brake hoses, new brake shoes. I'm gonna look at the wheel cylinders. Maybe take them off and rebuild them. I've got new seals from Mexico. I ordered some stuff from Rock Auto and it came in the box right here. And caliper from Mexico. And here's a wheel cylinder rebuild kit from USA. And right beside it, same part number, same box from Mexico. Interesting, huh? Yeah, this one was actually made in July. This one was boxed. Same part number. Yep, Mexico and USA. So you never know what you're gonna get from Rock Auto. So that's what we're doing on this blazer. I'm gonna pull the drive shaft in a minute. So I'll pause this and take it off. And I'll tell you about another video that I was watching, a brief one by Mr. Tool Teardowns. Good guy. Tear, tears down tools and tells you what's inside the snap-on, the Harbor Freight, whatever he's working on. And he was recommending fluid film. I said, try wool wax. Support the little guy. Fluid film's gone a little out of control with their corporate, what they call that? Corporate uh, program or marketing. They're marketing to the big guys and blowing off the little guys. So I'm going to try wool wax. I've got some promotional stuff here and we're going to try get some t-shirts and sweatshirts and hoodies. So give me a second. Dry shaft is coming off. Let's see if I can get that drive shaft off. All right. So I sent a nice message to Mr. Mr. Tool Teardowns, who makes these very nice videos and does lots of editing. He was at a commission for, I go my ego, for a month. I don't do any editing, zero, nothing, nada. I keep it pure and simple. What you see is what you get. Whoop, here it goes. I can't imagine it would be held on tight with this truck taking such a beating. Uh-oh, the cap stayed inside. Oh, I didn't take off the strap. Oops. Uh-oh, this transmission's gonna dump oil all over me. I better get a container. Your kids vaccinated? I was listening to uh, radio. They were saying they were having an outbreak of measles and mumps in Pacific Northwest. Hopefully, you're vaccinated. That is not a joke. What are we going to put that transmission oil in? I'll put this container of water. Get a nice blend. Plain, non fat yogurt and transmission fluid. Actually, I want to get a better container. Give me a sec. All right, got my little container, my little tub. And where am I going to put this? So you can keep track of what I'm doing. Where's the drive shaft? We have some, I think we got some oil in the lens. Got a tissue out of my pocket with my greasy paw. Amazing a little piece of tissue that big can do, huh? Clean the lens. All right. By the way, I'm still having the trouble with the uh, turbo weasel. I posted to a Chevy truck forum, and I had a couple guys contact me using WhatsApp. And then the next thing they say is, what's that? WhatsApp is a way to communicate in the 21st century. It's owned by Facebook, unfortunately. My insurance agent was over here this morning. He pointed it out to me. And who likes Facebook? Whoops, just missed. Nobody likes Facebook, but everybody uses it. And they own WhatsApp. So they control our lives. Look at that. All the oil in the container where it belongs. 
but I use WhatsApp to communicate. So it's my recommendation. Even though I'm not a fan of Facebook, but everybody's on it. Or it seems everybody, most people. I like using WhatsApp to communicate with my friends. It's just another messaging app. And don't say, what's that? Because everybody says that. WhatsApp. It's just a way to communicate. It's the 21st century version of messaging. SMS is so old school. Did I weld that in? Maybe. Nope. Oh, it's funny how that one's nice and tight. I guess the drive shaft flexes a bit. It takes up some of the strain. But boy, so much of my joints are falling apart. Okay. Oh. Falling out from under here. Maybe I'll get my hoist in this summer. Okay. What do we got here? My three foot long drive shaft. Hello, Mr. Crud. <laughs> Actually, want to take that grinder off the bucket. And I'm going to. Lay that right down there in my work bucket. Whew. Oh, I see you well. Yes, didn't even hold. And the U joint went bad, anyways. <sighs> yeah, that U joint's bad too. U-joint is worn. So, two new U-joints. Let's see if I can go find my collection of Spicer U-joints. I hope I have a genuine made in USA U-joint. I'm going to take that, clean that weld up. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Servicing the truck. All right, we're in my disorganized storeroom. I think the only thing that's organized in here is my U-joints. So, here they are. Moog. Let me see if I can put my glasses on. Uh oh. I didn't bring my glasses with. Nope. So, I'm going to have to look up the number, but yep, I've got U joints and I've got Chebby steering wheels and made in China water pumps and for sale signs and Corvair turbo air cleaners and a strut for the Acura. That's long gone, but I saw it last year. And an air conditioning pulley puller or a power steering pulley puller. Lots of good junk, and you can't have it because it's all mine. Mine, 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 mine. I got too much junk, I know. Toot, toot. I'll keep you posted as the job goes along.